All right, welcome to another week of what's for dinner. This week we're featuring the crock pot. So tonight we are having cheesy sausage and potatoes. So this is just three kielbasa sausages that Addison cut up in a greased um, crock pot. And then she is going to dump this entire bag of diced hash brown potatoes and one medium onion. All right, in this bowl, I have one can of cream of mushroom gluten-free soup, a half a cup of milk, salt and pepper to taste, so probably about a teaspoon of salt and pepper, and I'm just gonna give it a little mixy. All right, so in here is a little bit of cheese, but that's onion, those are the hash brown potatoes, there's the sausage. And then you need two cups of cheese. I don't measure cheese because it's measured in love. Mm, we'll do a little bit more. And this is just mild cheddar. And you just want to mix it all up. And you want to cook on high for two to three hours or on low for six. All right, so it's been in here for three hours. And the way to tell if it's done is you check your potatoes. So let's give it a little tasty taste. Mmm, mm-hmm. Good, good, good. All right, so here's my plate dished up. I put a little bit more shredded cheese, some black pepper, and some parsley. This one tastes delicious. I'm really excited. All right, tonight for dinner is another crock pot recipe. And I know what you're thinking. Wendy, that's not your crock pot. You have to ground the beef first. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to break it up into small bits. And then this is, this is a great recipe if you are... Um, Going, if you like to like cook your ground beef ahead of time in big batches, then you could just pull it out and throw it in your crock pot. All right, so my meat is in there. I did not drain it because it's 90-10, so there wasn't any fat. If yours has fat, drain it. Um, pro tip, um, so that you don't ever forget because it's the worst thing to do is to put food in the crock pot and come back and realize you did not turn it on. So I always turn it on right after I plug it in. So let's put the rest of the ingredients in one can of corn drain all right two and a half cups of water So once you have all of the ingredients in here, you just give it a stir. The original recipe that I found, which I will link down below, um, used a smaller can of crushed tomatoes. I didn't have that, so I used the bigger can. And then it didn't call for pinto beans, but we like pinto beans, so I added that. And then it calls for a bell pepper, and I thought I had some, and I don't. So this is gonna cook on low for six hours. And then we'll come back and we'll add the pasta. So this has been cooking on low for six hours. And I turned it up on high. And then I fed the baby. And so now I'm back to it because you need it to be a bubbling like that. So here's what it looks like. Remember, everything in here is fully cooked. So you're just warming everything. Then what you do 
is you had 12 ounces of uncooked pasta. The recipe called for shells. And as you all know, I can't find regular gluten-free shells. And man, I'm opening this weird. I hurt my finger. And so I can't use my fingers like I normally would. But these are gluten-free penne. They'll work the same. And then it says to cook for like 10 to 20 minutes. But because it's gluten-free pasta, I am going to set a timer for um, eight minutes. And then I'm going to come back and check to make sure that we're either cooked and not overcooked because gluten-free pasta gets overcooked very, very quickly. But I'm just pushing all the pasta down into the sauce. Gonna pop back on my lid and set a timer. All right, so the noodles actually cooked for 11 minutes. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Look how like thick it is now. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna plate it up. All right, so here's what it looks like all plated up. I just have a little bit of cheese. Um, add sour cream, some guacamole. That would be yummy on it. Here it is, taco pasta in your crock pot. All right, welcome back to another night of what's for dinner in my crock pot. Tonight we are having corned beef and cabbage. Mmm, because it is St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, fun fact, even though it's beef, I do not eat corned beef and cabbage. So this is just for Adam and the kids. And the recipe that I'll link is, um, you're supposed to add the potatoes and carrots now, but that's the part of the corned beef and cabbage that I do eat. So I'm going to just go ahead and roast those in the oven. So to my slow cooker, I rinsed off my meat. I'm adding three cups of water and the seasoning packet. All right. So there it looks. Season packet water on low. And we are just going to cook this bad boy for six hours and then we'll add the cabbage. We'll see you then. All right. The potatoes are done. Yeah. And then the corned beef and cabbage. So I didn't have, again, I didn't have big carrots. So I just put matchsticks in. Then what you want to do is you want to just make sure that it's soft. So the cabbage is done and then look at how soft this is too. So we're gonna have Adam slice that bad boy up for us and then we'll eat. I'll show you a plate. Slice it up. Look at how delicious these potatoes are. Look at that, nice and crispy, but really soft on the inside. Mmm, yum. 